welcome to the tutorial of making a representation of bullet motion inside gun barrel. Let me show the gun barrel before the tutorial. This is the gun barrel. This part here. This is a rifling machine which makes a helical grooves inside this barrel. This grooves allow allows the bullet to make a rotational motion inside the barrel let me show the motion right now we know that we have a rotational motion in addition to the translational motion so we are going to make this motion using crew parametric 2 we take a new assembly file then go to tree filters and activate features apply ok now we need to draw the barrel part so we make a new part and click OK. We need this part to be fixed. Now we activate this part and go to right plane, then make a new sketch. We make a circle with 10 units diameter. We extrude it, but we take it as a surface with this value and click OK. Now we take the top plane, we make a sketch. Now let me project line over this edge and take center line here, then click OK. We take a helical sweep, we need the cross section to be a surface, then we define the cross section. Let we take a line. Then OK. It will define the fetch value. It will be this number. Then we click OK. By the same way, we go again to top. Then make a new sketch. But this time we make a projection on the other side. And also take a center line. Then we go to helical sweep, take in a surface, and by the same way, we take a line here to generate a surface with the same value for the pitch. Then click OK. Now, if we intersect this helical sweep with this cylinder, we get the rifling representation. So we take this, then Click intersect. After that, we take the cylinder part and click OK. Now we go to helical sweep one, then we hide it. Now we have a helical line. By the same way, we take the second helical sweep and intersect it with the cylindrical surface. Then we hide the helical sweep again. Now let we hide extrude one. Now we have these two lines. Again we unhide it. Now we activate the assembly and we need to draw the palette body. So we activate part two and make a sketch over the right plane. We draw a circle. With 10 units diameter, then we extrude it to 10 or less. Now we take a round from here and make a round to this edge. It should be like this. Again, we need, need to make a new sketch on the surface. We take a point from here. All for that we make a project now here and take a point by this way then we delete this click OK also we make a new sketch over this surface and take a point here now we activate the assembly again we hide extrude one 
then we edit the definition of this part. Now let we take a slot connection between the first helical pair with this point. Also we need a new set and take it between this helical curve. And this point, then click OK. We go back again and activate part one. We go to top view, then sketch. Now we draw a line. Before that, if we take a new reference over this point, then click OK. Then to draw a line from here to the reference that we defined. Then click OK again. Now we activate the assembly and edit the definition of part 2. Now we take and use it again. We take it between this line and this point and another new set between this line and this point. Now we force this part to move with this helical curves. We go to slot 7, go to slot axis, then we take this as 0 reference. We take it 0 here again. Now we check neighbor regeneration value, then click OK. Now if we drag this component and then regenerate the model, it will be back to the its initial position by this way. Now we go to extrude one and unhide it, then to appearance, take this one. Okay, now we go to applications, mechanism. We give a right click and take a servo motor here to profile. We take a velocity one, not the direction of the velocity, so we take it minus 10 in this direction to reverse this direction and click OK. Now if we show the motion, we set this to this number, then click run. Note that rotational motion in addition to the translation translational motion. Okay. If you regenerate the model again. Okay, we go to part one and hide extrude one and drag this to here, then regenerate the model again. Set the frame rate to this number and this to this number, then click run. We have the same motion. Okay. This completes this tutorial. Thank you.